afternoon everyone welcome to the vlog today was a very very nice day it's a little bit cloudy now as you can see but this morning started off excellent first day in the uh, 50s that we've had in a, actually 60s that we've had watch it man uh, that we've had in a very long time this winter has been absolutely brutal and Rhode Island weather is you know as you've seen in basically all my videos is well known for being absolutely awful so what we are doing today is getting some new fog lights for the Celica. I've said in the last couple of videos, the driver's side fog light is out. So we are on our way to AutoZone to get a new fog light for the Celica. So hopefully they have them in stock and we can get a nice one for a hopefully decent price. Uh, I didn't look into pricing, but hopefully it's not too bad. So let's get to it. <music> H3 is the type of bulb, it's got that little cord for the ground I think, two of them, one for each, and it's only 569. Can't go wrong there. Just these, just Alright, total comes to 1218. Take chips if you got. Thank you. All right, so I got the yellowish ones um, right here, as you can see, kind of yellow because I actually kind of like the yellowish, whitish fog light look and then the pure white HID look. So that's why I got the uh, yellow ones. And as you saw, they were only 560 something. So they were super duper cheap. So if they fail or burn out anytime soon, not a big loss, no big deal. So that is my reasoning behind it. They're not the highest quality, I'm sure, but hey, um, old car, just pretty much for, you know, fog light appearance, I guess. I just, I just like the look of the bottom yellows and the top white, so that's what I did. All right, guys, back. It is a new day and we are going to be installing the fog lights on the Celica. All right, so under the car, we got four bolts. There's one, two, and then on each side, well, there's actually six, I guess. Three, four, five, and this one's gone. So we're undoing these, and then the plastics are coming off next. All right, so we were trying to get uh, the fog light in and figured out that we would just do one and then record the second one so that we could do it for you guys uh, pretty easily and make sense. So we got this one all done, the driver's side one that actually needed to be done. And it's all working, it's good. So now we're going to do this one. So I'm going to show you guys the process of how to do this. It's not too bad. So how to install a fog light on the Celica. So let's get to it. So the first step is taking off two bolts. So we got one here, and I think we're gonna do this one here. So that the rightmost two bolts, and then if there are any snaps, like this snap here, we'll take off, and then maybe potentially this second snap. So basically just the right stuff. You don't have to do uh, some of the bolts in the middle right here, but just the furthest ones to the right so that you can access the fog light, which is right under here uh, without taking everything off, just what you have to take off. Ugh, this one's fused. Uh oh. I think this one just disintegrated. Oh, it's all right. All right, so. The plastic is peeled down. I did have to do the second screw actually right here. So uh, three screws total and a couple clips and a few pins. But this is the fog light mechanism. I hope this video isn't like horribly like upside down the whole time. 
But this is the fog light mechanism, so what we end up having to do is taking this back cap off right up here. There are directions, it's just, you know, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Uh, and it does pop out, you can feel it going. It's kind of stiff. All right, lefty loosey. Okay, make it hit. Should let the hand do it now. There it goes. All right, so the cap is off. It, this metal piece kind of makes things difficult, but the cap is off and you can see inside there is the yellowish wire. Let me bend this back. That yellowish wire, the orange one, that's the white cable, which is the new cable which does get plugged in on uh, the final one. And there's another pin you have to unplug as well. One of those is the ground, one of them is power. I'm not positive which is which. But you gotta unplug both of those and then that silver pin, the silver pin up here, this gets unspringed. That's just a spring to hold it. And then the bulb, you can see it's kind of wiggling around right here. So got it off, here's the old bulb. Here's the new bulb. And I'll show you guys all the connections here. This part here gets plugged into a little point that is um, inside the housing. And then this, this part right here, I don't know if it's focused or not. This part here is where the, the little tail of the bulb plugs into. And all of it gets wrapped into this little enclosure here. Uh, inside the car so nothing gets exposed no water or anything gets exposed so also with the new bulb it's important to not touch the actual bulb part because the oils in your fingers or the dirt in this case um, can get on that and then shorten the bulb life and also the rounded part down here at the bottom versus the square tab up here at the top the rounded part goes down towards the ground and the square part goes pointed up just like this in the fog light enclosure so the tail is plugged into the little tail part, and we're going to put up the rest of it now. All right, so I'll give you guys a look. The bulb here is plugged in. The round part is down, and the square part is up. So it just fits in that little cavity. Take your little metal spring here and just lay it over the bulb, if it's in seated correctly, and then slip it into this little slot, and it's nice and sturdy. And then the second pin, I don't know if this is gonna show up really well. This little black pin gets over top that other pin, which is down in the bottom right. But up here is that black pin. It just fits down over top of the pin, which is sticking out. It's in the bottom right of both sides. So there that's on and we're not going to screw it up just yet we're going to test to see if both work so you can see both driver side and the passenger side are new and they contrast the HIDs pretty well which is our goal all right so when that's all done just put the cat back on and righty tighty it twists right back into place and we're good. All right, and then the last step is just putting up all the plastic. It's not ever easy and pins break and screws rust, uh, but I'm sure you guys can figure it out. But that is essentially it. So fog light install on a 2000 Toyota Celica. I uh, hope that was sort of easy to follow. I don't know, um, that was kind of a mess, but it wasn't too bad. Hopefully. That sort of makes sense to you guys, um, and if you guys have issues with the fog lights, that's how to fix them. So hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad right now either. Um, but that is it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.